Let me set the stage for you guys real quick. Past few years of Madden, I've been definitely, you know, struggling. I'll keep it a buck. I've been mid. See right here, Madden 23, I was ranked the 24th best player. And honestly, I don't think I was, you know, even up there. I was only given that rank because of the accolades and the achievements and the hard work I put in the previous Maddens. Even going into this year, I was first term of the year, I struggled. I got 43rd on the ladders and I didn't even make day two. But as the year progressed and I got better and better, started gain momentum. I started to find my stride. I made a nice couple runs, ultimately leading us to here and today. Final MCS tournament of the year for a lot of people. If I make this live event, if I'm able to win four straight Madden matches, I'm able to make the Madden Bowl. You guys know how important the Madden Bowl is to a lot of competitors, the brand, the money. It's ultimately, you wanna make that final tournament of the year. Let's see if I could do it today in these upcoming videos. Follow me along on this journey and let's see if I could get back on track. I'm playing a go in round two of the four potential matchups I have to win to get into the Madden Bowl. I'm gonna be playing go easy in this matchup. This is a 12, this is a $1,300 game. This is round two of the playoff MCS tournament. I have to win this game plus two more to make the live event and the Madden Bowl. Let's see if I could do it today. Guys, we're gonna be getting ball first versus Goat Geezy. Um, once more, I'm in the Eagles playbook on offense. Defense, I'm running like Jets, 4-6. I like to switch it up this gameplay, I'm running Jets. See right here, I'm scrolling through my audibles, making sure every play I have is set in motion. As we go and get into the gameplay, we have our Lamar Jackson, our Gronk, and our Fitzgerald already lit up with the pre-KOs. So right here, Goat Geezy was ready for that RPO. Uh, once you get in the higher levels, people are going to click onto those uh, cornerbacks and guard the RPOs. Uh, one thing I do wish is I had identified for that, but you know, it's not a big deal. It's right here, throwing the run with Lamar Jackson, and there goes Gronk, like I was saying in the last video versus Pro Legend. One of my favorite cards in this game is right here. We're making great reads early. Julio Jones with that juke move almost breaks it out for a touchdown. And unlike my last gameplay versus Pro Legend, we get ball first and we are cooking up early. It's right here, Lamar Jackson. That's why you use him. That's why he's my favorite QB in the game with that running gun X factor. Um, with that 94 speed, he gets into the end zone for us. Um, and here we go, man. Go Geezy running the, one of the best Jets playbooks I've played all year. If you've played Madden lately, you know how good that Jets offensive playbook is. Bunch to bunch strong offset. A little bit of bunch tight end but really it's gonna be bunch to bunch strong mainly being bunch strong is right here shannon sharp with a juke right here we're on mike evans and this play right here is this durham play he puts his tight end on a drag he's gonna run it again his running uh, his slot receiver on a cross or a post and his running back on a upward streak and that play is one of the best plays in the game if you run jets playbook you need to incorporate it the play is called durham and do the setups that he's running it's right here he's gonna run corner strike and we're actually like you know we're i don't know man our, I feel like this gameplay, like when I was playing it, I, I just couldn't get a stop. But looking back on it, I'm not playing the worst defense. I'm just like getting clicked off or like doing inopportune things at the wrong time. It's right here. Julio Jones, we're not catching that, man. 90, I don't know. I think 95 speed, 96 speed, 94 speed. One of those, you know, three ratings to the Baja on that RPO. That's why another thing about that bunch strong is you can't stop the RPO sometimes. So 7-7 seven, seven game. This is a big game, man. Round of 32 matchup. So right here, we get the running gun. We throw it on the run, and we somehow get it inaccurate. And right here, Gokisi is screaming at us. Very good mix-up. He sent the pressure. That's one thing. When I was playing this dollar, he was doing a lot of send three, and he was doing a lot of send six or send five. And he was mixing it up perfectly at the right times. So after that sack, I'm like, we might be dead, fellas. But thankfully, we hit that wide trail up the seams, um, you know, right across that third to julio jones and right here i've started to pick it up like all right you know what he's gonna blitz more uh, i just gotta realize when he's starting to blitz and make the right reads it's right here he sends three a lot like i said he sends three a lot in this gameplay and that's one thing about dollars the sent three is really not good it's right here we highball it a little late his user was there he put a hard flat we had to highball it otherwise you know josh allen would have got crazy but get out of bounds with larry fitz but it doesn't matter tyree kill nice little play setup we got the tight end post got the running uh that little zig route and we end up scoring and then one thing you guys don't notice is he had will levis in this gameplay this gameplay when it was taken i think it was last sunday um or you know a few sundays ago and you know this is right when lamar dropped and lamar at the time was like four mil i actually spent like 4.8 mil thankfully for me he's still around that range somehow because the market went up so i gotta sell him asap because he's gonna go down eventually and i can't bite the bullet on how much i lost so, like I was saying, he's using Will Levis, which honestly for him is a disadvantage because of the Lamar, like I said, the running gun, the speed, the traditional four release. And right here, what am I doing? How is that dude wide open on third and 10? 
like I was saying, man, I wasn't playing the worst defense. Um, but there was just a few times and moments where I was getting clicked off or I was one adjustment away. That was a perfect example. I made the most important adjustment last, which was, you know, and I didn't get it off, which was supposed to be that deep half on that right side. Wide open streak touchdown to Larry Fitz. And man, here we go, man. This is like, this is what you want to watch. High a level, elite gameplay, two players that cannot stop each other. And we got TG30 getting us a first down on that read option inside zone. And right here, we're just going to, you know, we're just going to hit this Larry Fitz high ball right over his head. I don't know if he shaded down or ran commit. I want to say he ran commit as right there. He definitely ran commit. Um, and, you know, that was even fluky. You see, we got B-gapped right there. There was nothing we could have done, uh, I guess, sometimes with a run commit. I mean, hey, if you run commit, I, I definitely think you deserve that type of pressure. But it is what it is. We actually end up cooking with that tight end grok, tight end apprentice. Man, that ability is so freaking good. Tight end apprentice is so good as well. And, you know, we do score. We I didn't want to score, man. We messed up. We should have took a knee. I don't know. What, what do you guys do in those scenarios? Do you clock? You just score right away. Um, right there, that could have been a pick. But, yeah, man, I should have definitely not scored because, you know, he he's, has a chance to make this last drive. If he gets seven, I'm at a disadvantage because he does get ball a half. So, right here, the biggest thing is no seven. I, I live with three, but no seven at all. It's right here. Saquon Barkley is juking us to the sidelines he actually stays in balance thankfully for us and you know we're running this nickel normal we're getting a little bit of pressure i know you guys are peeping fred warner on that loop and right here i definitely think he was throwing a pick uh i don't know if he was or was not but you know ends up almost throwing a pick um gives us a lot of time by the way is right here we are gonna hit the running back streak one of the best routes in this game especially if you have a fast running back and just like that we are able to get our three right back um, I know Gogizi was probably devastated giving up three right there. I was in the middle of the field too, which it makes it all the harder. If someone's in the middle of the field, man, it's very hard to hit those corner routes. The defense plays much better. Um, a lot of the plays they run won't work. Definitely know that for me. As right here, once more, back to a Jets bunch strong offset. Very fast, high paced gameplay. No huddling every play. Both of us are doing it. So this game, honestly, is going by pretty quickly. Um, you notice we're already in the third quarter, whereas when I played Legend, slow running the ball quite a bit gameplay is very slow just you know this very very slow gameplay but this is a very fast high pace gameplay um and you know right here we're just kind of trying to play contain d we really can't contain will levis in the pocket you know even though we have a qb advantage with you know having lamar will levis has wheels as well and you know he's able to hit dots with that gift wrapped as well right here we're gonna have some nice pressure we need that to be a sack fred warner you're a little slow, but man, you got to get there. And right there, man, like I said, Will Levis has wheels. Should have had a QB spy. Nickel normal. 24-24 gameplay, man. This is this is honestly one of the most fun games I had all year. I don't know how many people are watching because of the amount of games that are going on. But man, me and Geezy were going at it. We were throwing uppercuts left and right. Hook, jab. It didn't matter, bro. None of us could get a stop. Right here, we get pretty lucky, man. He went for the pick. That should have been a KO, but I had the running gun. I had to try it. Right there, he sends the pressure and we get sacked. So I don't know if he was sending six or sending five. I got to look back at the tape. But man, when he was sending that five, I sent out five players. I was getting screamed at. It's right here. I'm telling you, man, they gave me a QB that can make all the throws on the run. Um, like, like, why wouldn't I ever use this QB, man? You know me for many years. You know how I play. I love to roll out. I love to throw dots on the run. It's right here. Tyree kill on a drag. It's very hard to guard him, especially with mid-ass chadarius ward whatever the name is guarding it that zero chill events i actually had him on my team too i still do i think he was like 94 speed but you notice the tactic i just did i kicked the ball out of bounds why did i do that hopefully you guys know and you watch competitive madden but right there kyle hamilton mvp of the game so far we're gonna rewind the tape why i kicked the ball off first of all is we're gonna pretty much make it to where hopefully we get the ball back at least one time we don't want Go Geezy to start the ball off at the 25 and, you know, take it down all the way down the field and give me no time left and go for two and win. That's like the worst case scenario in this situation. Best case scenario, I get a stop, which you already see we end up doing, um, and we just win the game. But, you know, right here, we send the pressure. He runs his Durham setup. He runs it to the short side. Short side is great, but if you're getting blitzed, it's very compressed, right? Everything right here is kind of compressed. I have this user. I'm really like, he could have thrown this right away, but my user might get there. You know, the route is even fully developed. He's going to get bumped. Fred Warner is screaming. We ran man on this side. We ran man or cloud. I can't remember what this was. I want, I, yeah, it's a cloud flat. He turns his hips. It's a cloud flat. 
and we we picked the tight end drag this play is so hard to stop man even if you have a free runner he has someone wide open and he's gonna have this open if he waits he blindly closes his eyes and says he says r1 please be open on this slot apprentice post or cross or whatever he has kyle hamilton not having none of that six foot four beast he just picked off the niners like four times i feel like picks it off all pretty much secures the game for us so i think right so i think so at this moment, I'm so hyped. I'm like, let's go. We just made it to round three. We just secured ourselves like, you know, a little bit of cash. We've got to keep winning to get into this Madden Bowl. Right here, we played pretty conservative. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm running the ball two straight times. I already knew he had RPOD. Right here, I had Larry Fitz early, and then I end up... That should have been a pick. That should have been a pick. The biggest play of the game, fourth and nine. Julio Jones got our back. We ran this verticals in... I'm not going to lie. We had this open, but I don't know how to throw that. People know how to throw that solo side fade, like, right here. I don't know how to throw that. Uh, tight end post might have been open. His user was there. Wheel route was not open. I'm not going to lie. This is such a tight throw. I don't know what this is. This might have been a cloud flat or whatever. Short side vertical is very elite play. You could quick throw it. You could throw it late. And thankfully for us, we don't even have gift wrap Julio Jones. Shout out to you, my guy. You'll always be one of my favorite receivers in the league. Honestly, a legend in Madden. It's right here. We're in two clock mode. Should I have taken this touchdown, chat? What do you have taken it? Comment if you're taking that touchdown. Todd Gurley, I'm like, you know what? We're going to slow it down. You have to play these mental games. Two clock and MCS, especially this high level. Right here, we honestly passed, and he played phenomenal defense. And, you know, we almost get out of there. Very risky by me. I was on conservative, but very risky. Nolan Smith almost hawks us down and fumbles. And that's back-to-back -back games where I run that RPO stretch. And people stop it. And boom, you see what happens. We All we had to do is kick three and we win the game. But there goes Ward, who I was calling ass earlier. He has nothing to do with this play. He just got the animation. I didn't perfect kick it. And he blocks it. And in this moment in time, two million thoughts are running through my head. Did I just lose this game? Is my MCS season over? There's so much significance on the line, man. Um, and now he's running RPOs. I can't get my head together. I wasn't even playing good defense this whole game. I kind of was, but I really wasn't, bro. He's hitting the same route I was just talking about two minutes ago. The fade to the solo side, man. I, it's just all bad. I'm using my safety. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm in a defense, nickel normal. I barely started running this. Wide open routes, Pacheco and man coverage. It's just all bad at this time and moment. Am I really about to lose this game? Am I really about to get screwed by the EA gods? It's right here, Julio Jones. What are you doing, Geezy? Go down. He doesn't go down. He gives me a chance. I literally told you guys the worst case scenario was for him to go down. Give me no time. Go for two. Send my ass packing. He doesn't do that for some reason. He ends up scoring. I think he was on conservative. I don't know what bro was thinking. Someone let me know what bro was thinking, please. But Gurley goes up the sidelines, tight ropes it, easy yards. And just like that, we're already in field goal range, man. Tight end Gronk. Tight end apprentice. I love this card. That route combo was beautiful, crispy. I'm telling you, I'm playing elite Madden this given moment in time in this video. And right here, this is where it gets a little tricky, right? I don't have any timeouts. I don't want to run the ball and just, you know, lose because I, I like the runoff or whatever. So we just set up two flats and like, I don't know, a streak, I guess, or a verticals route. And we just throw the ball away when we sense that pressure. But here's the issue, man. He still has like five seconds and we just got our kick blocked. Thankfully for us now, we're a little further back, so we get that focus kicker because um, it's, I think, what, Zen kicker, 45 plus yards, you get the slow meter. That's really why I missed the first field goal. Here we go. Final play of the game. Gokizi always gets Hail Marys. Is he going to get another one? Oh my goodness. I have to rewind that. Look how close this was, guys. I want you guys to see this guy, Larry Fitz, if this is that deep out elite BS and that deep out elite nonsense, whatever that has on Larry Fitz. Geezy gets cheated. We sent the pressure. It was a great call to send the pressure. The only issue is we have two guys back here. What is my user doing? He had his hands on that. He has gift wrap. I want to say, no way bro's not playing without gift wrap, right? I know I play without it. Very kind of questionable. I'll show my team and my abilities in another video, but I have a perfect AP setup for me that works. For him, obviously, I want to say he uses gift wrap. Larry fits with that deep out elite nonsense that he gets from pretty much not doing anything, right? He gets it activated for no reason. And he honestly gets cheated, man. That stat line, 18 to 30. We played pretty good defense. We just couldn't get off the field. Thankfully for us, we beat Gogizi. Shout out to him for the game. Game of the year, honestly, man. So many highs and lows. So many emotional roller coasters. Very fast-paced game. I want to say that game lasted like 30 minutes, even though it came down to a game-winning kick. 
that game lasted 30 minutes bro or maybe less and if you know like calm madden that's pretty quick like unless it's a flood that game lasted pretty like went by pretty quick 349 two touchdowns 78 completion percentage with lj8 lamar jackson the best qb in the game in my opinion i know perry just dropped i still think lamar jackson for the value not the ap the value he gets the running gun the you know the traditional four the gunslinger uh he's the best qb still in my opinion i know perry just dropped and perry's absolutely insane i'll get some gameplay on that soon but for the ap man or for the the value that i get with a running gun man for that it works for me man i know it works for me so that's just my personal opinion once more shout out go geezy man been, bro's been grinding go check out his channel honestly game of the year we made it to round three man i know you big guys been keeping up we beat legend round one we beat uh, go geezy round two and next matchup, we're going to be playing Mills, the 6-1 legend, the 6-1 god, the guy who created 6-1, created some of these nasty, cheesy blitzes. I'll, guys, I'll catch you guys in that gameplay. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoy the content. I'll see you guys soon. Take care and peace.